uh, before going to post the accounting entries, can you please note it down this everyone? Please note it down. SAP GL document entries postings. Note it down all the steps everyone. Note it down. GL document entry single screen MB50. Are you there? Yes, no, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, please note it down. GL master data practice material shader, huh? everyone. Yes, no. Shader huh? in practice material. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Can you please note it down? GL document entries postings. Don't write path, huh? just write heading, everyone. Then completed. Yes, one second, ma'am. One second, please. Yes, everyone. Yes. So my target is I want to post the accounting entries. So example, everyone, concentrate here. Here, everyone. Here, did you note it, this accounting entries, everyone? Yes, no, this one? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So now I want to post the accounting entry. I want to post the accounting entry. Commission paid account data to commission payable. So what is the T code for invoice posting? T code is called FB50. And what is the T code for outgoing payment? It is called payment means outgoing payment. Outgoing payment. So what is the T code for outgoing payment? F dash, you noted everyone. F dash 06 or 07? 07, sir. 07. 
So now I want to post the accounting entry. First, I can post vendor invoice. Later, I can post vendor payment. Later, I can post vendor payment. So how you can post? Very, very, very simple, everyone. So up to now, up to now, we did configuration. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> up to now, we did configuration. So our configuration good or not good? How would I know? If you successfully posted accounting entries, then your configuration is good. During the accounting entry posting, if you face any error, means something we miss. Something background, something we miss. So we want to rectify that. So if you post successfully accounting entry, your configuration is good. If you are unable to post the accounting entry, means something you are missed the configuration. Again, you can rectify that configuration and accounting entry will go into post. So here, I want to post vendor invoice. I want to post vendor payment. Sorry, uh, expenses invoice and uh, expenses payment like that. Not for vendor. A vendor will come, accounts payable, customer will come, accounts receivable. This is only for the GL. Okay, I need to post this accounting address. So everyone, consider it here. Let us post the accounting entries. Open SAP. One second. Fifty four. Let's open a SAP So everyone, uh, Sandhya ma'am, can you please close the system ma'am? Sir, I, I haven't opened sir. Uh, it is closed. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you ma'am. So everyone, concentrated everyone, I am repeating once again. Now I want to post the accounting entry. So how to post accounting entry? So now, why directly it's coming? Sorry, even for me, it was like this, sir. I just uh, used slash and sir, that's all. Yes, sir, same issue, sir. Same issue, oh, okay. Let's go back, okay? So everyone, for example, uh, in case if you are in this screen, use slash and also, slash n, go back. Wherever in, where, which screen you are in, not a matter. If you use slash n, then press enter, come to back, SAP Easy Access screen. Okay. So now I want to post expenses accounting entry. I want to post uh, payment accounting entry. Okay. So uh, my target is how to post when invoice, expenses invoice. How to post expenses payment. Okay. So SAP menu, accounting. Financial accounting, general ledger, document entry, FB50 here. And here, F-07, outgoing payment. FB50 for vendor invoice. So this is the path, everyone. SAP menu, <coughs> accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, document entry, FB50. So you just double click on this FB50. 
So first, first you have to do check your company code. Always check your company code. In case it is your company code, then fine. In case it is not your company code, first click on your switch company code. Give it here your company code. So what is our company code? Our company code is and example JJ double one. JJ double one. And click on here. Okay. Click on here. Okay. So here document date and posting date. So what is the difference between document date and posting date? Document date means whatever date on invoice, physical document, whatever date on the paper, on the invoice paper, whatever date, example document date means whatever date available on, on the paper, on invoice, that is called document date. What is meant by posting date? Posting date means that invoice when you are posting into the system. When you are posting into the system. And currency, what is this currency? Currency means document currency. During the accounting entry posting, whatever currency you specified, that is called document currency or transaction currency, whatever you call it. Then here reference, reference means we are doing testing. It is good or not, we are testing. And here, here the debit and credit, debit and credit. So in the debit, what is the debit here everyone? What is the debit? Commission paid is a debit. And uh, commission payable is a credit. Commission payable is the credit. So commission paid, what is the number? Commission payable, what is the number? So now you can tell me commission paid, what is the number everyone? Double four, double zero, double zero. Commission payable, credit, what is the number? One six, double zero, zero one. Commission payable. This is the one. Amount is one lakh and one lakh. Here one lakh. Then uh, here you can use tap, 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 tap. Simply here you can give the cost center. Debit side you can give the cost center. What is that? JJ, something we created now. Click on your browse. And uh, here you can give your controlling area. JJ, CA, enter. What is your controlling area? This one, JJ, FC. This is our cost center. JJ, give it your cost center and here debit and credit. Debit means commission paid, GL number. Credit means commission payable, GL number. And this is the amount. And here simply you can give the cost center. Remaining things will update automatically. Press enter, press enter. Maybe I thought one error will come. Let it be, let's see. Press enter. Then click on your simulate. Here click on your simulate. Note it on one note, everyone. Posting keys. Note it on one note. Posting keys. 40 means debit. 50 means credit. Posting key 40 means debit. 50 means credit. And noted posting key 40 means debit, 50 means credit, everyone. Noted, sir. Done, sir. Yes, no, noted. Done, sir. And simply click on your post, everyone. Concentrate here. So here everyone, this is called header data. This is called header data everyone. Example, uh, document date, posting date, document currency, company code. This is called header data. This is called line item data, which is debit and which is credit. And simply click on your post. See, everyone, maybe, uh, 
what is that customizing lecture guys maximum people will receive this error everyone maximum people receive this error can you please note it down this error everyone can you please note it down up to message number can you please note it down up to everyone will receive this error done noted up to message number you can write done noted sir yes sir yes sir and now what is the solution i want to know the solution actually i want to know the solution everyone for example if you double click on this uh i mean finance a uh, custom and check uh, this one if you click on this second one click on this procedure here what happened everyone here what happened some other people also some other people also created some ledgers everyone extension ledger uh, oc uh, uh, 0c 0e b5 b6 some other people also created some ledger but by mistakely they assigned my company code by mistakely they assigned my company code for this ledger if you remove my company code this error will going to resolve okay got it my point everyone i am repeating once again concentrate here concentrate here, everyone for example if you click on your post click on your post this error will come so double click on this error and uh, click on your second one everyone here you can click on here and uh, see this is the error green means success yellow means warning red means error so we have to resolve this then only document entry will going to post so example how we can resolve this error note it down solution open new session note it on the solution path spro sap reference img note it on the solution to resolve this error please note it down clearly spro sap reference img financial accounting Financial accounting global setting, ledgers, ledger, this one. Define setting for ledger and currency type. Open new session and uh, write this path. SPRO, SAP, IMG, financial accounting, financial accounting global setting, ledger, ledger. Define setting for ledger and currency type. Done, sir. Done, noted, everyone. Yes, sir. And uh, click on here, double click on this execute button. Let's observe everyone. Let's observe here. And here, let's observe everyone. Everyone, listen, listen careful. Concentrate here. So, what is the error here? Posting period variant empty for uh, 0C, everyone. Somebody created ledger 0C. Click on your position, enter 0C, enter. See here, 0C, somebody created 0C and select the 0c double click on company code see here they are not removed any company code 
click on your position what is my company code jj11 see this is my company course and this is not my lecture but they are by mistakely they are assigned all the things so just remove this remove and, and uh, again go to ledgers again go to ledger and one more one more one more what is this 0e 0e and select here 0e double click on company code and click on your position jj double one oh, it's already removed huh? let's verify your company code is there or not and again it's all automatically removed and one more uh, b5 b5 click on your b5 select your b5 company code and uh, jj double one remove these company codes and uh, one more b6 and ledger double click ledger okay click on your position b6 and select this double click on company code click on your position somebody created some ledgers so by mistakely they keep my company codes so click on your save click on your save <laughs> do one thing everyone now you can post again close this and go back uh, again slash and go back i'm repeating once again if you post again that error will never come now you just double click on fb50 everyone listen listen carefully listen listen my dear students first check the company code it is your company code then fine in case it is not your company code Take the document date, posting date, and uh, testing, and here uh, debit and uh, credit, and here debit is commission paid, and credit is commission payable. The number, GL number, amount is uh, one lakh, and uh, amount is one lakh, and use uh, tap 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 tap. Here you can take uh, cost center. Press enter, click on your simulate and post. Let's see here if you post that error won't come. In case any error will come, then you have to rectify. Click on your post. See, document number 1000000 was posted in company code. Go to document and display. Go to document and display. See here, everyone. And uh, here, if you just click on here, this cap, what is the document type? Document type is SA. And uh, this is the document number. Number. And company code. This is called header data. And this is called line item data. And here it will update. For example, click on here, uh, entry view. And this is entry view and this is a general ledger view. This is a general ledger view. And uh, profit center, business area. We want one more, right? What is meant by active splitting? Active splitting means we required profit center, business area and segment also, right? Segment is there? Not there. In case if you want segment, here you can click on change layout here, here. Choose layout and change layout so you want segment right check here where is the segment uh use paste down button in the keyboard paste down button paste down button check segment where is the segment mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, here segment move to left side and click on ok see now segment this is the accounting entry 40 means debit 50 means credit commission paid account data to commission payable business area 
profit center and segment here i will ask one question sir this business area profit center and segment updated debit side and credit side but this cost center why only debit side only for commission paid why not commission payable not updated here anyone tell me Only, only expenses can allow cost center. Ah, very good, everyone. Only expenses and incomes updated into FI and as well as CO. Okay, and the remaining things will commission payable will not update it in the CO. Commission payable will not update in the CO. This is liability. That is the reason cost center is not updated here. Okay, and this is the account. Act to splitting debit account data to credit, business area, profit center, and segment. And let's do the do everyone. Let's make the payment, everyone. Let's make the payment. What is meant by uh, passive splitting, everyone? What is meant by passive splitting? Anyone? I want to make the payment now. Anyone remember passive splitting means? During Any payment entry posting, all parameters will be automatically updated with the Again, a staff invoice. Very good. During the payment accounting entry posting, all the parameters, business area, profit center, segment, all the parameters will update automatically. Let's see it will update or not. And let's make the payment. T code is called F-07. Go to F-07, outgoing payment. And as usual, you can take a document date, posting date, whatever. Document type, now we are doing GL, so take SA, always SA. Now, in the GL purpose, here we are doing testing, everyone. Now we are doing testing. Everyone, listen carefully, listen. Bank data account. Bank data account means here you want to take here you want to take everyone cash or bank related GL. Cash okay. or bank related GL. So what is our cash GL? Click on your browse. And uh, our company code is called. What is the cash GL number everyone? Did anybody remember? Cash GL number. Double two double zero double zero. How much cash? One lakh. One lakh. Here, bank data account means here you can take cash or bank GL and here amount. Then open item. Open item selection. Open item selection means what is this? Commission payable is a open item. Open here you need to take open item. One six double zero zero one. One six double zero zero one. Open item means that one. Commission payable. Commission payable. Here you want to take cash account. Here you can take commission payable or receivable. Open items. Okay. And I am not entering any business area, profit center, segment, anything. I am not entering anything. Just I am entering cash GL and open item GL and amount. All the parameters will update automatically. Then go to document and simulate so 40 means debit 50 means credit here commission payable account data to cash 40 means debit 50 means credit and post go to document and display and if you go to general ledger view so all the things will update profit center and business area in case if you want to see the segment click on your uh, change change layout and let's see the segment 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 where is that page down on page up uh, here move to left side lock it See, segment, business area, and profit center. 
why both line items cast center is not updated why it is not um, it is not expense expense it is not expenses and it is not income yes cash means asset commission payable means liabilities assets and liability will not update in the co that is the reason no cost center only segment business area and profit center like that click on here save and back. for example everyone do one thing everyone a calm card though i will tell you one thing everyone for example, my invoice value, my invoice value, 1 lakh. My payment value also, payment value also 1 lakh. Invoice value 1 lakh, payment value 1 lakh. If I see the report, how much outstanding? Anyone? Yes, no? Zero. 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 Note it on one note, note it on one T code, everyone. T code is called T code is called FBL three N FBL three N. FBL 3N, GL line item display. GL line item display. So my dear students, concentrate here. Let's see the reports, everyone. Uh, let's see my screen, everyone. Go to your BL 3N. And here you can take uh, commission payable. Take commission payable. And all items. Then execute. Let's see my screen, everyone. Here, 1 lakh for invoice. 1 lakh for payment. Now outstanding is 0. Commission payable. For example, if you want to see the accounting entry, if you want to see the accounting entry, double click on first line item, click on your call up point to overview. This is the accounting entry. One step back, double click on second line item, call up point to overview. This is the accounting entry. This is the report. Yes, no, following. Yes, no. Guys, yes, understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do one thing, everyone. A calm kardo. A calm kardo. First scenario, you will make full and final payment, right? Invoice value 1 lakh, payment value 1 lakh. Full and final payment. Do one thing. Second scenario, let's discuss partial payment, everyone. Do partial payment. Year 20,000, make it as a year 15,000. 15,000. And again, payment 5,000. Five See here, now invoice value 20,000. First pay, first installment. 15,000. Second installment, 5,000. Clear? For example, income invoice posting. What is the T code? FB50. 
and here incoming payment what is the t code everyone incoming payment t code fb06 f06 incoming payment f06 and here also incoming payment f06 better let's do some partial payment at all Can you please note it down everyone for your understanding. Invoice 20,000, payment first to 15,000, later 5,000. Let's do this manner, okay, for your understanding. Then, sir, noted. Yes, sir. So let's post vendor invoice. Let's post vendor, sorry, <laughs> expenses, income invoice now. So here, uh, commission receivable account data to received. So received GL number, anyone remember? Received. Anyone remember last class? What is the received GL number? No one? No one remember? 32, ah? 32 maybe. 32 double zero double zero. Yes, no? Two people noted. Uh, here 32 double zero double zero. Yes, sir. GL yes, number. Sir. 32. 32 double zero. Yeah, yeah. 32 double zero. So here debit. Debit means commission receivable. Credit means received. So I want to post like this. Let's post the accounting entry. Go to your B50. Everyone concentrate here. Go to your B50. Enter. First, you can check the company code. As usual, document date, posting date, and uh, reference. And here, uh, debit and credit. Debit and uh, credit. So here, uh, debit. What is that? Debit is commission receivable. 250000. Two five double zero double zero commission receivable credit is received three two double zero double zero and uh, in case if you are not remember this number what can I do very simple everyone click on your browse this click on your browse and give it here your company code and press enter enter so all the GLs will come so now you can double click on your respective GLs. So amount is 20,000 and amount is 20,000. And everyone, here commission receivable account data to received and use tap, 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 tap. Here I'm taking cost center. Why press enter? Here also one error will come. Press enter. Uh, note it down why blocked last time we blocked this GLA. Did you remember everyone? 
blocked and unblocked GL. Did you remember? Blocked and unblocked the GL. Note it on this error, everyone. Last time we blocked this GL. Blocking and unblocking. Block, note it on this. Yes. And how you can resolve this error? Slash and go back. Go to FS00 and give it that GL. What is the GL number? 320000. Click on your display. So this is the GL. Go to GL account. Click on your block. Here we need to remove this tick mark. Remove this tick mark. Everyone, note it on this everyone for your understanding purpose. Remove this tick mark. Solution, note it down. Solution is go to FS00, uh, give this GL number, company code, and remove this tick mark. I I blocked this. Then, sir, then noted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Click on your save. Now, this error won't come. Let's post again. Go to FB50. Document date, posting date. And here, uh, debit and credit. Here, commission receivable. Receivable account data to received. So receivable asset or income. Come receivable. What is that? Asset. asset. Current asset. asset. Current asset. Received. What is that? Income. 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 So asset and income. Which uh, line item will go to update FI and CO? Which line item update in only FI? Anyone? Receive. Yes, Receivable will update only in FI. Received okay. update FI and as well as CO. CO. So in the which line item I want to take uh, pass center? Second line item. Credit. Credit side. Press enter, press enter. See, one more error. Note it on this error also. That error is resolved. One more error has came. Even this error also will come. Note it down this. Note it down this. Even for you also, these errors will come. Even it is not come, then fine. In case it is come, you have to rectify. Note it down the error.
Done. Yes, no. Done, sir. Note it down. Solution. Note it down. Solution. Go to uh, KS zero two. Go to KS zero two. Enter. Give it here your controlling area and cost center. Everyone here, I will tell you one thing. Once again, in case it is your control, is this your controlling area? Then fine. In case it is not your controlling area, go to extras, set controlling area. Then here you want to enter controlling area. Okay. Then it is your controlling area. Then fine. Give it here your controlling area and cost center. What is our cost center? JJFC. This is my cost center. Press enter and go to control tab, control tab and remove these tick marks everyone. Remove these tick marks. Remove these tick marks everyone. Note it down this. Done, sir. Uh, click on your save. Click on your save. Everyone, listen carefully. Listen. Now you can post. That error won't come. Go to FB50. Check the company code. Document date, posting date, whatever date. Now we are doing testing, everyone. Debit and credit. And the commission receivable and received and the amount is twenty thousand twenty thousand. Use tap 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 tap. Here you can give cost center. Press enter button in the keyboard. Enter again. Do one thing, everyone. In case if you if you face this error, in case if you face this error, instead of here, instead of this cost center, one second, one second, everyone. During the income posting, do one thing. You can do one thing. Guys, concentrate here. Concentrate here, everyone. You can enter document date, posting date, and all. And debit. Guys, concentrate here. Credit and here commission receivable and received here amount and the amount. A come card everyone in the debit side. Use tap 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 tap. Here you can give business area. What is your business area, everyone? Example Hyderabad business area. JJ. HB, uh, HB, Hyderabad business area. And here you can give the profit center. Instead of cost center, you can give these two things. And what is that? Uh, JJ 100. And in the credit side, in the credit side, you can give cost center also if you want. And press enter button in the keyboard. So asking credit side also. Sometimes system behave like this. If you press enter, Hare Krishna. Note it on this error, everyone. Let's check.
node it down up to this instead of work around let's resolve this error Once you completed, please tell. Done, sir. Done, sir. Good. Yeah. Yeah. One second, everyone. Let I'm checking. एक काम करता है जरा इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस गो टू वो बी के फाइ रिजल्ट इन वो बी ए फाइ राइट Note it down solution, everyone. Note it down solution. Go to the T code. Go to the T code. OBFI. Go to the T code OBFI.
go to the T code O B A five. Let's see my screen, everyone. Go to T code O B A five. Enter application area K I. See, let's see my screen, everyone. Enter application area K I. Sir, it is standard one K. K I standard. Yeah, answer is yes. Okay, okay thanks. AI, click on here, okay. This one, click on here, okay, or apply, okay. And note it on this, everyone. Click on here, new entry. Okay, click on here, new entry, and you can write this one. Message type 166. And here online in WW and all like that. You can write this one. Selected one, right? So when you are doing testing now, so these errors will come. So you have to rectify the errors. Okay. How many errors will come? That many knowledge will come. If you face a lot of errors, means a lot of analysis, a lot of knowledge will come. Then, sir, then, yes, no. Then, yes. Then, you, after uh, completed, please respond, everyone. Otherwise, I, I, would, I don't know, right? You completed or not. Now, you can post, everyone. Maybe let's see that error will come or not come. Go to uh, FB50 and check the company code, document date, posting date. We are doing testing. And a debit and a credit. What is a debit, everyone? Commission. Tell me. Commission receivable. What is the number? 250000. Received 320000. And here amount is 20,000 and 20,000. Now, simply here you can give cost center now. Maybe that error won't come. I, I believe. Press enter. You can ignore it. Press enter again. See, now it's warning actually. You can ignore it. Press enter again. Now this is not an error. This is just for warning. Press enter again. And go to document. Simulate. Enter again. Warning. You can ignore it. It's warning. Yellow means warning. Red means error. And post. Enter again. Ignore it. Press enter again. Go to document and display. See here, 40 means debit, 50 means credit. 40 means debit, 50 means credit. And if you go to general ledger view, all the things will come. Uh, business area, profit center. In case if you want segment, go to change layout and uh, pick the segment also. You can see the segment also. Everyone. If I, I want to tell one thing, everyone. If I see the report, how much outstanding, everyone? How much outstanding? If I see the 5, report, 000. how much? Huh? 5,000. 5,000. 5, Sorry? 5,000 rupees. Hare Krishna? 5,000, sir. 20,000. 20, 20, 20, Just 20, I posted 000. invoice. Yes, yes. Just I posted invoice. I did not post any yes, payment. Sir. Payment. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Let's see the report. FBL 3N. 
give it your commission receivable click on your browse all items then execute it's a 20000 outstanding now do one thing everyone take calm kar do let's make the payment i am doing the payment 15000 payment now and what is the t code f-06 go to f-06 press enter uh, document date posting date whatever date you want and document type sca now we are doing testing one second everyone Sir, payment gap, that's zero. Sorry, payment, which one? F payment code is F-07, I think. No, it is called incoming payment. Outgoing payment. Outgoing payment means F-07. Incoming payment means F-06. Incoming and uh, for example for incomes incoming payment for expenses outgoing payment for example commission paid is the expenses that is the reason outgoing payment f-07 commission received is the income income means incoming payment got my point yes no yes sir yes sir yes. Uh, expenses for expenses, outgoing payment. For incomes, incoming payment. Now it is a commission received means income, incoming payment. Okay. So what is the T code, everyone? So what is the T code? F-06. Enter. Incoming payment. So same screen look like. Okay. As usual, document date, posting date, whatever date you want. Document type SCA. And here we are reference means testing. Bank data account means here you can take cash or bank related GL. Double two, double zero, double zero. Cash GL. Amount is 15,000. And here open item selection account means here you can take payable or receivable. Now we can take receivable. Two five double zero double zero. Two five double zero double zero. Click on your process open item. Click on your process open item. If you do full and final payment, select your standard. Now am I doing full and final payment or partial payment? Partial, partial payment. Partial, partial payment. So click on your partial payment. Click on your partial payment and how much payment amount. Double click on this field, everyone. Double click on this field. See, this is my invoice value. This is my payment value. Go to document, simulate, and post. 40 means debit, 50 means credit. Cash account data to commission receivable. Is this correct entry, everyone? Yeah, cash account data to commission receivable. This one. Okay. And uh, let's click on your post. Go to document and see display. And entry view, general ledger view, whatever view you can view, you can see. Now do one thing, everyone. So now I, my, I posted invoice 20,000. I posted payment 15,000. How much outstanding now? Five. 5,000. So let's Five. see here. Go to FBL3N and uh, here all items, then execute. Correct, everyone? 5,000? Yes, sir. Yes. And let's do remaining payment. Let's do remaining payment. 5,000. So everyone, my invoice value 20,000, my payment value 15,000, 
remaining 5000 now i am doing the remaining 5000 now it's a full and final payment or partial payment partial full payment, payment. My total outstanding now 5000. I am doing 5000 only, full and final. Let's do that. What is the T code? Same T code. Go to F 06, enter. You can take document date, posting date, whatever date you want. Here we are doing testing. Ah, document type essay. Sorry, sorry. Very good. Appreciate. Document type essay. Here cash yield double two double zero double zero. Amount is five thousand. Tap tap tap. Here open item selection yield two five double zero double zero. Click on your process open item. Now full and final payment. My invoice value 20,000 less 15,000 total outstanding is 5,000. Now we are doing 5,000. That is the reason standard means full and final payment. Partial payment means here you want to click on. This is full and final payment. Go to document and simulate and post. Go to document and display. Do one thing, everyone. If I see outstanding, if I see the report, how much outstanding now? Everyone? Zero. 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 FBL, three and all items then execute. Is this correct, everyone? Yes. Yes, sir. Sir. So this, this screenshot, take the picture and post into the group, not this. You can practice. You can practice and uh, post one accounting entry, take the picture and post into the group, WhatsApp group. I will see how you are posting and all. Okay, everyone say yes, no, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Remaining, yes, very good, everyone. Remaining T codes, let's see tomorrow. Okay. Sir, I have some. Ah, go ahead, go ahead. Sir, in FS00, I'm getting an error like uh, PL and account type, sir, option. PL? Maybe a retained earning account you not assigned, man. I have assigned it, retained sir. Retained account. What is that post? Uh, what is that error show me? Profit and loss type, sir. Uh, I will make it as a host. Please, please share the screen. Show me the error. Yeah, one second, sir. Guys, tell the solution. Share your screen, ma'am. Uh -huh. Lakshmi, ma'am. Uh, please stop recording, ma'am. Sir, can you see my screen, sir? Uh, no, ma'am. Uh, 